Hi, how are you going? Thanks for joining me here. Um, I thought I should explain to you what I've been doing in my little time-lapse videos over the last few days because um, this is a really fun thing to do and everyone has the ability to do this. It's just simple latch hooking. Uh, I tend to turn to things like this when I just need some time out from my ordinary routine. I work from home um, and so that separation between life and business um, is very blurry and fluid for me. Um, and sometimes, you know, when I get really sick of back ends of websites and Facebook and Instagram and frankly have no idea how any of that works, I will just go back to the basics and do something super creative that I know will allow myself just to escape for a bit. Um, when I do work like this, I'm not thinking of anything. I'm just enjoying the process. I really love repetitive menial tasks it's my bag curiously um no wonder i wasn't a very good lawyer anyway um i will find when i give myself this time that that's when i might find myself solving some other creative problem which is always great or i will find that inspiration will drop in which is even better um, but essentially what it's doing for me is just calming my system uh, and that is gold. Anyway, so it's all very simple. I'm just using leftover pieces of my beautiful Extreme Knitting Yarn, K1, S1. Um, I cut it into specific lengths. They're all about the same. I create a little loop, come to my little structure. This is just an old vintage hanging chair that I've had for a few years now that I've repurposed. Um, you just find the bar, you loop your little piece around. I'll do it from the, the big one so hopefully you can see that. So all I am doing, I'm going to do it this way. Can you see that? Yes, you can. You just loop the ends back through over the structure and you pull down and try and create a really firm tension. And that's it. And then as I go um, all around the chair, I'll, I'll show you what it all looks like soon um, because I particularly want to show you the inside texture that's created because I actually prefer the inside to the outside. Um, to some it might look completely bonkers, but I love bonkers. I just love things that are a little bit out of the box. Um, I don't care if people think it's ugly. I think it's really beautiful and that it's covered in a beautiful natural fiber and this thing will last forever if I let that happen um, it will stand the test of time and I just think it, it's a really lovely way to create a very colorful element into a living space that everyone can enjoy especially the little people and it's a great little nook to read some books in I think that's my plan for it anyway but I have a feeling I'll have to reserve my spot because this will be highly thought after. Anyway, see ya. Love ya.